On the last part, you learned how to create a new actor and then learned how to add that actor to the database. On this part, you learn how to get the details of an actor. For that, let us go to Visual Studio and see it in action. In Visual Studio, the first thing that we need to do is that we need to create a new action result. For that, you need to go to the Actors Controller. And then in here, we're going to create another GET request. And the way this request will look like will be actors. Then we are going to have details and then the ID of the actor. So let's say the ID one. So in here now I'll just type public async task and then I action result. And I'm going to name this method the details method. And this will take a parameter ID of type integer. Now the first thing that we need to do in here is that we need to check if an actor with that ID exists in our database. So for that I'll just type in your var actor details is equal to then I'm going to use this service dot get by ID and then pass as a parameter the ID. Then here let us check if the actor details is null. So if the actor details is equal to null then we are just going to return the view let's say empty otherwise we are going to return the view with the actor details as a parameter so let us now create the details view for that i'll just copy the name in here then go to the solution explorer then go to the actors folder, right click, then add, we're going to add a new view, it's going to be a razor view empty, add, this is going to be the details and then add the view. Now since this is similar to the create view, I'll just go to the create view, then copy everything from here, so control C, then go to the details.c-sharp html and then paste it in here scroll up the title is going to be details for and then model dot full name then in here we are not going to have a form because we are not going to submit any data so let us remove the form tags then remove the validation we are going to keep the profile picture preview then in here let us make all the input fields as read only fields so read only this is going to be read only the last one will also be read only and now let us scroll down to the buttons in here we have two buttons the create button and the show all button now let us update the create button to be the update button. For that I'll just add a new A tag. The class is going to be btn, then btn-outline, then success. And this is going to have the class float. So float right. For this button, we are going to define the ASP action. So ASP dash action is going to be added. This is an action that we are going to create on the upcoming part. But for this action, we are going to also provide a route parameter. And the route parameter in this case is going to be the route parameter. So ASP route then dash ID is equal to, and this is going to be the model dot ID. So let us remove the input from here then scroll down we don't need the second script because we're not going to update anything in this view so remove the extra spaces and then save the changes but before we run the app let us go to the solution explorer one more time and then go to the actors service down here we're going to implement the get by id and this is going to be var result is equal to await then context dot actors dot first 
or default async and that goes to n.id is equal to the id and then down here return result let us change the actor to be async task actor and then for name conventioning let us also update the get by id to be get by id async let us also update the add method so let us change the name from add to add async and then in here change the save changes to be save changes async and then in here we are going to have the await and then up here async task if you want you can also use in here the add async method and then add the await in front now let us go to the interface because we need to also update the return types and the method name so we have get all async we have get by id async we are going to have add async and the return type will be a task and in here we also have a task and then actor so let us go back now to the actors controller and then in here instead of get by id we're going to have get by id async and then here we have await then up here we also have add async await in here let us scroll up and here we're going to have the get all async now before we run this project let us go to the solution explorer and then in here go to the index.c sharp html and scroll down in here and for the details we're going to add the asp dash controller that is going to be actors then we are going to have the asp dash action and the action is going to be details and the last parameter is going to be the route id so asp dash route and then id so we define id in here but we also have defined the actors controller to have the details and then id so the naming is really important in the index.c sharp html the id is going to be at item dot id now since we are within the same folder for the actors controller we can remove this part let us copy this section control c and then let us define up here the action to be added but we are still going to have the route id and the same will be for the delete and the action is going to be delete so now let us save the changes and run the application in here let us go to management and then actors let us click for the details for the first actor and now you can see that the url has been updated for the actor details now it's actors then details and then id but here at the bottom you can see that we have a button but the button doesn't have any text so let us just go back to visual studio one more time and then in here go to the details.c sharp html scroll down in here and provide a value for the a tag the value is going to be edit and then save the changes let us scroll up in here if you want you can just customize the profile picture preview so for example you can add a class let's say class the class is going to be border dash info and then we have around it then dash circle and then we can also add some max width so let us just type in your style and the max width is going to be 150 pixels now let us copy this part so i'll just copy this part Control c and go to the create.c sharp html and paste it in here as well so let us restart visual studio in here let us go to the actors 
and then let us first try to add an actor now if I paste a URL in here you can see that the image is a circle let us go to all actors and then here let us show the details for the first one and you can see that we have all the values we have the edit button and we also have the profile picture in a circle on the next part we are going to add the update functionality so when you click the edit button you'll be redirected to the actors edit and then the actor id we are going to display the actor details and then the user can update the actor data.